thing. If you understand this, you are so set to do any acid-base problem. Okay, what have I got? I've got sodium hydroxide, so Na positive and OH negative. What's BEP? No, oh, I know what that means. No, Never mind. No, yeah. Yeah. And then we've got <laughs> HC3H5. It is a 5O2. <laughs> These are the exact same chemicals. So the exact same equation is going to apply. We just have different quantities we have of different them. Quantities. So we have hydroxide plus HC3H5O2. Same exact reaction makes water plus C3H5O2 minus. Now, when I do my B. C A table. Mm -hmm. What are my numbers, Mr. Uh, we've got 42 milliliters of the base at 0.25 molar, so that's 10.5 millimoles. And a half. I believe this one's still 10. And then that right? one is uh, it's still 10, yes. And there's zero. So we'll go minus 10, 0.5, minus 10, zero, plus 10, 10. Now, hmm. this is an interesting, situa that interesting is situation. Not interesting situation. It's not a buffer. Talk. It's not a buffer. Now, you no. say we've got two things, Mr. Sam. We do. We have a base and a base. Oh, you see, this is a strong, strong base. Strong base. And this is a weak, weak base. base. In which case, the strong base wins. wins. So, we don't care about the weak base. In this case, there's no equilibrium. You no. just will take the concentration of the hydroxide will be equal to 0 0.5 millimoles divided by the total volume. Now, what are two volumes? Oh, the total volume. We had 42 and 20, so divided by 62. 42 and 20, so this is 60 milliliters. So when you get this, the molarity is... 0 0.00806. 0 0.00806 molar. That's the concentration of hydroxide. If yes. you take the negative log of that, yep. you get the pOH, and that would be what? 2.09. 2.09. Subtract that from 14. 11.90. 11 11.91. Or 9.1. Okay, so that's the answer. You ignore this. Yep. This is unimportant. No importante. Not at all. You just do the 11.91, or just the, the, the excess strong base. So if you have excess strong base, you just say 11. Point, you know, do the math here to get this number. Take negative log, and you're basically, basically, basically are, are Oh, that goes with our lovely pun. Ooh, basically done. Yes, okay. Mm. But you get it base. Now, one thing I want to warn you guys is that we are really hammering through these problems very quickly. Yep. You probably need to pause this video occasionally and say, yeah. what did he do? Back us up. And then make sure you follow along. It's critical that we understand this. Yeah. All right, this podcast is getting long. So what Mr. Sams and I are going to do is we're going to pause, or we're going to we're just going to have a 15.2 uh, a, a and a 15.2 b. b. And so yeah. we will, you'll need to watch them both. I must yep. confess, I'm sorry. Um, so you need to find the 15.2 b. But we're running out of time, and our class is about to walk in. And so we want to make sure that uh, <laughs> we can't do it while class is going on. So. Um, We'll see you back on B in just a moment. Bye. All right.